need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Oscar Bevis for IFL TV. Delighted to be joined by Frankie Stringer. Frankie, thanks for giving me some of your time. How are we? Good, good. How are you? I'm good, mate. I'm good. Um, it's just gone eight o'clock as we speak. Um, so, oh, there we go. Yeah, just gone eight o'clock as we speak. So, um, obviously, yeah. been a hard day of training and graft for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, just finished not long ago doing our, um, would say, our last sprint on the treadmill, and so. Made up, it's done. My last sprint to camp. Obviously, we're looking forward to your fight on the Smith Eubank 2 card. We're closing in now on that September the 2nd date. How are you feeling just the week out? Good. I've got my last bar on Friday and then camp's, camp's finished. But I've had a good, another good camp, good spars. I'm, I'm fit. I'm, I'm ready to go. Has it made it easier from kind of a nerves perspective or a feeling perspective that you've been on a few big cards now not that it's second nature but you, you've been on these big cards before that's what I mean Beefy's, Beefy's been getting me on big shows so I'm getting used to it now but the nerves always always are always there in the changing rooms warming up that's that's when the nerves will start kicking in but other than that the way in the press conference I just soak it all up because it, it, it's some experience yeah, I know you've got the belief you'll go to the top, but there must be a little bit of that kind of pinch yourself feeling. This your third fight, Manchester Arena, back to back. You're a Liverpool boy who's done the yeah. echo twice. It is, it is a bit yeah. mental. That's what I mean. It's the, the 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 stuff that you dream of when you're a kid, fighting in the echo arena in the MEN, and especially on on Sky Sports bills on Beefy versus Eubank. It's it's massive, and I can't, I can't. Can't get better than it, so I made up. Yeah, well, we can't wait to see you do your thing again. Um, your second one over six rounds. Just going back to the last one, even though it was only a two round increase, could you feel the difference last time in in the two rounds? Yeah, where with me last one, I was a, uh, I, I started sharp, and then after the fourth round, it was like, oh, still got another two rounds here, but. It'll be better. It'll, it'll suit me more. I'm, I'm, I'm sparring. I'm sparring the rounds. I'm doing it easy. So as the rounds go up, I'll just keep learning and improving, and that's when that's when you see you will see the best best of me. And obviously, you had something that didn't go your way in that fight as well. Um, a new experience, obviously not a wanted yeah. experience, but I suppose yeah. in reality there isn't more of a learning curve than you can have in these early fights. Exactly. Now, to get off the deck. That's a that's a that's a box tick at my age, so it's good to that it's good to have the experience early. So in the long run, I've been there and done it, and I and I know. So it is it is good learning, but I won't be doing it. Um, won't be happening again. Yeah, I just kind of want to talk about how it felt in the moment because I suppose there's a few ways you could go about it. Did you kind of have that grit your teeth, get back up, feel, or I guess you need to be relaxed at the same time. It weren't even a shot that it weren't a shot that that that, uh, that knocked me down. I went, I rolled my ankle. You should have seen my ankle. My ankle was was purple. I done my ligaments in my ankle, so it was like he, he's through. And I and I've stepped back, and that's when I rolled rolled it. It was a picture that uh, Karen Karen the camera woman got a picture, and you can as I'm falling, you can see me face. I'm going like ah, I'm like. And the next day, it just ballooned up. But it's a good experience. You give me a count, and then I had to just just dig in and 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 don't get me wrong. The pain when it first happened, the pain was sore, but the, I think the adrenaline got me through it. And then once I got out of there in the changing rooms, that's when the pain just started coming back to my ankle. And I was like, I made up that didn't come in the ring. Well, like you said, you got through it. Um... And now we look forward to, to you going again. Just kind of the ankle situation from the last fight then to now. Yeah. Um, was there kind of problems reintroducing yourself back into training? Did you have to take things a touch slower at the start? Yeah. I had to um, I just gradually, gradually get back into camp. I, 
I couldn't run. I couldn't do much. So I just, I want to just just ease into camp. So I didn't. I don't want it happening again. But it's all good now. Being being sparring on it. So hopefully it's it's all healed properly. Couldn't run. Couldn't do sprints. That sounds like a pretty bit of a, a bit of a bonus, no? <laughs> exactly. That's what I mean. But you need to do them. You need to do them to get to get fit for your fight. So, and I like running to be honest. So it's like. I was a bit gutted, but it's it's all good now. Yeah, well, it's going to be some night in Manchester. Um, a wicked card as well. Let's talk about the man at the top, Beefy. Um, no matter what happens, all these little promo videos, the press conferences, the back and forths, he's just cool as ice. Beefy is just cool as ice, isn't he? Oh, he's just he's just he's just a hard he's just a hard man. He just he just loves fighting, and it's he's a scary man. When when he once he's in there, it's it's. Just a switch gets clicked, but it just he just loves fighting. He is just a crazy R case. That's the word. I mean, I know you're going to tell me you believe the result will be will be the same. Yeah, I can't see it going any other way. I've said it to a few. I've done a few interviews with a few, and I've literally said I cannot see it going any other way. If Chris comes and wants to fight early and comes at him, it can go earlier. So it's like. It's just how how Eubank wants to wants to go about it, but I think beefy KO early, similar to the first one. Did you want this rematch for Liam, or would you have rather seen him look upwards? Because it, it's not like this was the only option. It's it's a big fight, and you know, regardless of whether you're taking it or not, Liam would have been in something big. But was this kind of your preferred option? I guess as even as a beefy fan or someone who knows Liam. Yeah, because. The stuff he's saying, he's, uh, it was a fluke, it would never happen. So once it does happen again, Chris is just going to swallow his words and look like a look like an idiot, if you get what I mean. So like, I can't wait for when he does knock him out again for what Chris says, like what he's going to say after it. That, that's what I can't wait to see. Yeah, well, it's tasty in the ring. It's, it's tasty out of it as well. It is, there's going to be some things said during the fight week. Yeah. Does it give you that little bit of excitement for when you're in the fights with this meaning, with the needle, with the pressure? Because there's going to be a time where yeah. you'll be sitting across the press conference table from someone, looking at them in the eye, and they'll be throwing things back. And Does it get, kind of give you that I mean. buzz for when you're there? That's, it does. It, 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 it makes me like, makes me think, like, I want to be, I want to be doing that. that like, like, I plan in my head, that's going to be me in a few years. And, and it's it's just boss. It gets you used, it gets you feeling like, this is gonna be me, so it gets you like used to the feeling. But it's boss. You just when you're fighting domestic level fights, just like gets the crowd going, the ring walk, like Beefy's ring walk. You see how good it was. I was just picturing like I want to be like that. I want to be coming out to all the crowd cheering me. It's 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 a boss. Fe- it's a boss feeling to uh, to look up to. And it will happen, of course, for yourself. Yeah. Um, but it is yeah. a process. Is it one of them where you kind of have to tell yourself it's a process? Because I guess you will be so eager to just kind of jump the levels quickly and get to the place where yeah. kind of you're in these fights. But it is about learning, obviously. That's what it is. It's just learning. I'm 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 22. I'm I'm only young. Being I've only been a pro a year, so there's a lot of time. But that's what I mean. You do want to just jump to that, and I want to be this, but. It's not like that. You've got to you've got to work yourself up, get to the top, and then earn your shot and, and and take your shot. Yeah, how have you found life as a pro? Just kind of the whole package, the training, the living, even outside of camp. How have you found kind of just having the title of Frankie Stringer, professional boxer? Well, I love it. You know, I've I've this is all I've done all my life. So I've wanted this for, for since I was since I was nine, since I started the gym, and now becoming real it, it, it's boss it's me life and, and I wouldn't swap it for the world yeah well mate I can't wait to see you in action again um, look forward to seeing you next week appreciate your time just kind of I guess the last thing what the fans can expect from yourself on September the 9th just another good solid performance all around um, good box set good, good IQ just, just good all round it's going to be a, a good performance you need to not be first do we do enough? Well, I never shot up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.